My name is Jeff Catlin. I'm the CEO of Lexalytics, a text analytics vendor that operates in the periphery of the search engine space, particularly enterprise search, and also in the sort of PR and marketing space, helping people manage and monitor their content. And so today, what I'm going to talk to you about is how enterprise search makes use of text analytics technology to improve the enterprise search experience and make the results and the interface and how people interact with the systems better for them. So I thought I'd start that by explaining, sort of differentiating search from text analytics and explaining a little bit about each. Now search is fairly common. Everybody's, everybody uses Google, so they feel fairly comfortable and confident with that. So what is it? Well, search is essentially a query, right? We all start with a query. We're all comfortable and used to that. Well, how, does, how do you take a query that you put into Google or an enterprise type search system and get a result out? Oh, there's a number of pieces, and there's more than this, but simplifying it down. You start with a bunch of content, and that can be anything, right? It can be emails, it can be file system content, anything. That goes through something called a pipeline, and we'll take another look at a pipeline later on, as that becomes an important part of how these interact with each other. The content comes out of a pipeline and is fed into, what's, into an index, which is what you search, which is what you, you grind the results out of and put on the screen for people to look at, and obviously it takes a query from a person to operate against that index and give you what you're after. So what kind of questions are we typically seeing in search systems? So this is market impression of Q2 results. That's a fairly common kind of question you would get in an enterprise search system. Fairly easy for an enterprise search system to handle and give you pretty nice results. Comments on the BlackBerry Bold. If you, had, if you were BlackBerry, you, know, you were RIM and you were collecting this stuff, that's the kind of question you'd be able to answer with an internal search system. The last question, tell me what I need to know. This is the kind of question I see in my business a lot because it's a little bit different. And this is, this is a tough one for a search system because there's no specific information request there. There's nothing very formal or specific. But it's a big deal because if you're a BI kind of system, you're worrying about business intelligence or your competitors, it's hard to form a specific question. This is the kind of question you have. How is that going to help you? Now you're sort of stuck. So we'll come back to this, because text analytics plays a big piece in how you answer that question. Text analytics, on the other hand, is a technology that is all about spotting patterns and trends in content, meaning you know, looking for things that are occurring frequently and recurring so that you can learn stuff about the data you might not have otherwise seen. It has, think you do things like take content and you build summaries of it. So that, you know, building a three, four sentence summary of a document to know what it's about. Um, extracting key bits of information, proper nouns and things like that, like people, companies, places, diseases, legal terms, things like that, that are important in the content. Themes, what are the key subject areas of a document? What is this document talking about? Which is kind of tied to a summary, but it's, now it's down to the noun phrases alternative energy, solar power, things like that are themes. And sentiment, which is a big piece of this as well, which is telling you in a given story, is that story positive, negative, neutral? Is it good possibly for one of the people mentioned and bad for another? That sort of stuff. Now, the way it's used, whereas the search system is used to answer questions, an analytics system is typically used in the form of pushing a bunch of content through these pumping them into a relational database. And that relational database will then be used to answer more generic questions like this. You might get things like, who's hot? You know, who's hot in the news or in the content now? Uh, what are people talking about? So what are people talking about, you know, is themes. That's the sort of stuff you're going to get in, in themes, and you'll get other things, you know, what is, is the, are these stories good or bad for me as a person or my company or business? So those sorts of things. That's where text analytics operates, and those are the kinds of questions that it helps you operate. So you, these look kind of similar to this one. So you start getting the idea that maybe that's where the tie-in is, and it is in fact that. So as you go forward, the question then is how is search and text analytics working together. And the truth is, they actually work together a lot. There are uh, all of the major 
enterprise search vendors actually utilize text analytics inside of their solutions to do what you need to do to improve these, these results. And so how does that work? So it starts, so let's start with the big nebulous content cloud that we're all you know, used to and we've seen before. Now the way this works in an enterprise search system is that they all have, and they have different names for them, but I'm going to use the more generic term of a pipeline, which is what a number of them call it. So you have this thing called a pipeline. And a pipeline's job is to take all of this content, sweep it in, comes out the other side, typically as an XML document. So you're going to get the content out the other side through the pipeline. That content is then going to feed a searchable index. And that index will be hit by Joe or Jane user out there who's asking a question of it. Now, that's the standard flow of content. So the question now is, where does text analytics fit in? How does it work? And what does it buy you? Well, we've talked a little bit about sort of how, you know, what it buys you in terms of more generic questions. So how does it fit in? Well, it turns out it fits in really nicely right here. Inside of the pipeline, all of the vendors tend to, one degree or another, integrate some sort of a text analytics solution in there that will do the themes and the summaries and all that sort of stuff. Summarization and all that sort of stuff comes out and that works its way into these XML documents. Now the reason you're doing that is that you're basically taking a document. So you have a document that might be this big and it might have John and it said something or other and Mary commented additionally something else and it was bad news. Bad news for us and no no no. Now that's fine, a search engine can do some decent stuff with that. But if you can actually take that document and through text analytics make it that big, where you've got entities. And you've got John. And you've got Mary. And you've got, you know, sentiment phrases. You know, bad day. Uh, and you may have a summary in there. And then you've got the full story underneath. Okay, You've taken a document that was fairly small and you've turned it into a very large, very rich document that has a lot more to work with. And that's good for the search engines because now they've got a much richer, bigger pile of stuff to work with and they should be able to give you much richer, better answers. So how do they do that? Where does that fit in the solutions that they provide today? Well, it fits in something that most people term facets. So you've got these things that are called facets, or navigators sometimes they're called. And if you look at a search app, everybody's familiar you know, with the basic search window. Okay, you've got that. And you get results out of that that look like you'd get in a Google or something like that, you know, that has a title and some content and another title and some content and you get some other content there, and on and on and on. That's what we're all used to seeing in a Google. In a typical enterprise search application, because the content volumes are a little smaller, you need to do some other stuff. Take advantage of the metadata that you've extracted and bring some facets to the data. So if your query was like, you know, financial markets, right? you're going to get financially oriented content. Now, having done things like sentiment and entities and stuff on it, you can do uh, some facets on this, which are essentially ways to drill into the content and ask questions that you might not have thought of previously. It's a way of leading the users through the content to ask better questions. So you may have a sentiment pie chart here with good, bad, neutral content. Now, in that content, you're gonna, you've got results for financial markets, you get the pie chart, and you say, geez, I'm really curious about the bad news in the financial markets. So what that actually causes, it essentially changes this query to financial markets plus you know, bad sentiment. And you get a new set of results out of here. 
and now the pie chart would be essentially one big red block because it's all bad. Now you also could get additional things like people in the set. Right? And so you might have the Johns and Marys from here listed out. And those are additional facets of the information that you can drill in and navigate by. So you could then say, okay, now I've drilled into the negatives so the sentiment pie chart may go away, but I still have the people list so I could do financial markets, bad sentiment, and you know, one of the CEOs, you know, CEO John. And your, your results list is gonna focus in further on that. So you're now, drilling and navigating your way through the information in ways that you as a user may not have thought of. You wouldn't have known that. You might not have thought to ask those questions. The data is telling you what's interesting, what's happening, what you need to know. So you've gone all the way back to the beginning where you're answering that tell me what I need to know kind of question. And it's text analytics stuff that actually enables that. It gives you the ability to look at data in other ways and spot patterns and trends and ask better questions. So that's really how this works. It's what the enterprise search vendors are providing and it's, it's where the market's gonna go. The search vendors are continuing to work on this. It'll be a big piece of things going forward and it should get better and better and improve the search experience for everybody in the enterprises. Again, my name is Jeff Catlin. I'm the CEO of Lexalytics. Thanks for watching.